Hi everyone, it's Sam Tovers from Sound of Joy Music Services. And we're gonna take another look at the Nashville number system, but the minor notes. Let's get into this real quick. Let's go back to where we were. We had this write up uh, earlier. Let me move my camera so I can be comfortable. There we go. Where we got into the point one, the numbers are assigned numbers based on their root value. This is the straight natural system. For example, the root chord is assigned the number one, the fourth chord assigned number four, and the fifth chord assigned number five. But number two in this uh, natural number system setup, the chords are then labeled with lowercase m for minor and uppercase m for major or a o small case O for diminished. So as I said, I wondered if there was a Nashville number system for minor chords, and I did find a site, and I borrowed this from that site, where it does show the chords that are found in the Nashville number system for minor notes. Now, looking at it, if we're gonna follow the concept of Let's start off here. Let's start off here. The first note is gonna be our root note in the chord. So in the minor natural number system, the minor scale, this is what we're gonna have, going with three notes. Because that's gonna build our chord. Now how do we know that's a major, uh, um, a minor chord? That's our major chord. Whenever you flat the third note, one, two, three, go down half a step or flat we call that, that takes it into the minor chord family. And we stress that all those who are learning music learn not only the names of these chords, but what they sound like. Okay, so following this, now the number two, the D says here diminished. Here's the trick for a diminished chord. If this is your major chord, flat the third note to a minor, flat the third, excuse me, flat the second note to a minor, flat the third note. I should say just drop a half a step. That's a better way to put it. That's the major. The second note of that scale, half a step. The third note or the fifth note of that scale, half a step. That will give you the minor. So we've got the one, we've got the two, which is a D diminished minor or D diminished. The next is going to be an E flat, straight major. That's the chord three. Now it says flat, B flat, flat three there in the minor sense. Okay. Four is gonna be a F minor. Again, the same thing, major, minor. The next is a G minor. Your next is an A flat, six chord. And then your seventh chord is a B flat, and then octave or back to number one is a G minor. So let's go through that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, an octave or one again. So that is the Nashville number system minors. Now, again, I would have written it differently, but this goes upon this. I go against the grain. Let me just move my pedal. I invert the chords. So if I were doing this, that would be my one. They say a D diminished, so they went here. Okay, I'll go along with that. E flat, I, I'll, go, I'll go with that. E flat, which is number three, F minor. Hmm. Five, a G minor, A flat major, B flat major. Hmm. Now, of course, music is always subjective to the person who is actually creating it and how they're composing it. Because we're following this scale, I believe this is the minor scale. I have in my uh, 
playing gospel music, I've always associated the scale they use as the as the harmonic minor scale, which gives you a different turn tone in some of the chords. That's the scale I use. It's kind of like a Arabian. So if I were to follow that scale. I use a different set of chords. I go, mm, 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 mm. let me see, remember my scale, my own version. That's the scale I that I use, my own version of a scale. Let me just so I can find, okay. I don't go diminished. See the scale I use. Let's go to a page where I can show you that. All right, it's like we got another page there. Let's go back here and let me adjust that page I was just on. Okay, that should be better. So that's where we were working on. Working on a song there. So the scale I would use. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's my. An octave. Now, that's my scale. If I was going to follow their scale again. They were minor, diminish, major, minor. Let me go back to see what that was. Do, 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 do. One second. Go back to the session. Major. Diminish, major, minor. That's what I thought. Minor, A flat, B flat. And back to there. I guess if you're writing in that in that in that scale, got to get it close, get it into my into my spirit, so to speak. Get it out of the way. Okay, two. I'm just filling out the chords. Hmm. Diminish. E flat. Four four is the F minor. G minor. A flat. B flat and back up there. Just looking at that, as I look at that. Versus mine. My scale, but I can associate with this one also. Harmonic, 
minor scale, the minor scale, versus the harmonic minor scale. Just change a note. So, what, what am I trying to say? These are the rules that all music is, is built on. As I, and in gospel music, they have a habit of saying, yes, I will follow the rules until they write a song. Saints and praise, I will celebrate. In the, in the scales. E flat, A flat, B flat. One, two, four, five. We're going to major. As I said, gospel music always goes outside of the chords. So this is your this is your extended Nashville number system. Uh, just get this out of the way. I'll put that right there. Your extended Nashville number system. Look at things. Is there a perfect system? Well, we're not looking for perfection. We're looking to make the the best music we possibly can, which means, like any good chef, you want to pull from everything out there from a base point and see how much of it can you use. Do you want to use this system? And write a beautiful and a very happy and thought-provoking song, or do you want to go with the minors? flat there it is there it is B flat again not knowing that there was a system I'm now programming myself because I'm used to that's what I'm used to but I again nothing wrong with learning what's happening now Just looking at the chords in an extended look. So what you want to do is, as you get these chords sunking into your into your psyche, into how you hear them, then you want to look at them and just break them down. said diminished you want to find if there's a, always there's a note missing which makes it a little more cleaner or a, a um, classical sound G E, e flat F sharp F minor G minor A flat B flat and then back to C1 or the minor. As always, Sam Tober Sound of Joy Music Services, we're looking to bring the very best in not just gospel music, but the theory and understanding of all the tones that make gospel music sound the way it makes. We're building on the Nashville number system. Uh, we've just got you a good look at the Nashville minor 
number system. We did cover how you can add sevenths and C sevenths to help broaden the actual chords that you're playing. And coming in the future, I'm putting together my own number system where I like to do sevenths. Let me do seven, well, major, seven, major, 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 seventh, and back to the one. That's my chording system or number system. Let me get let me get it cleaned up so I can have it looking as good as the, as the others are being presented. Sam Tobit, Sound of Joy Music Services. As always, if you like the video, please leave a like that pushes me up in the algorithm. S subscribe and leave your comments. I'm always open for what I ha what I need to learn. Also, we're all on this on this musical journey together. Take care, and I'll see you on the next lesson. Bye.